Hello everyone, I'm Anita Wallace, I'm Chair of the Lymphedema Support Network and I'm delighted to introduce you to Professor Dominic Furness, a microsurgeon with a special interest in lymphedema. Well, we talked about various surgical techniques, um, but Dominic, what makes someone a suitable candidate for surgery? So I think that depends on which kind of surgery we're talking about. So for the reconstructive options, which are trying to enhance whatever lymphatic drainage a, a person has left in their affected limb, then generally speaking, uh, we need to have some functioning lymphatics left. Mm -hmm. And so in particular for LVA, we need to have some functioning lymphatic channels that we can get in there and find and operate on um, and join up to uh, the little veins in the limb to enable us to, to enhance that drainage. For lymph node transfer, we need to have at least some lymphatic function left. So um, we judge this always by ICG lymphography, where uh, we, we inject a little bit of dye and then we look at it with an infrared camera. Um, and we need to have some level of transport of that dye up the limb in order to be able to um, transfer some, some lymph nodes in and, and to have a hope that they will join up with some functioning lymphatics that are left within the limb. In our practice, we generally reserve this for patients who are um, not quite suitable for LVA, so their lymphatic function is not quite good enough for that, but also haven't quite reached the end stage of the disease where they're, they're wanting liposuction to, to just try and control the volume of the limb. In terms of liposuction, this is a really good operation for correcting the volume of a limb. So if someone's got a very big limb uh, that is difficult to manage, then uh, liposuction can be used for that. But it's always in combination with compression therapy. And I think it's important to emphasize that compression and um, very diligent use of garments after liposuction, both day and night, is is one of the keys to success. And especially for, for liposuction patients, we want to try and make sure that there isn't very much fluid within the limb at all. So we want most of the swelling to be fat. Yeah. And in our practice, we'll assess that by both clinical assessment. So is there pitting edema or is the, is the edema non-pitting suggestive of fat? But also we tend to do an MRI scan to quantify the, the amount of fat in a particular limb and quantify it, its distribution as well. Um, so these things help us to, to, to choose which operation is right for, for which patient. Mm -hmm. The final thing to say about liposuction is we wouldn't tend to offer it to someone whose difference between their legs or between their arms is less than about 20%. Um, that's because the, the gains that you get from the surgery probably don't quite outweigh the risks of, of having the operation until you, you get above that that kind of level. Yeah, yeah. Does it make you a more suitable candidate if your lymphedema is more recent? I think if you're looking for a reconstructive option, yes, absolutely. So the sooner we can see patients, the better, really, because over time, the increased pressure that the lymphatics are under tends to cause them to, in layman's terms, fur up. Um, so it causes the muscle cells that are in the walls of the lymphatics to get bigger and it causes them to secrete collagen, which uh, is really scar tissue. And so right. those lymphatics get scarred and that, that interrupts that very delicate pumping mechanism that the lymphatics have. And so uh, if we're looking at a procedure to enhance the drainage where we need that pumping mechanism to still be working, then definitely the earlier the better. However, having said that, people's lymphatics degenerate at very different rates. So right. I've seen some patients within a year of starting their lymph to, to have lymph of having lymphedema after their treatment, whose lymphatics are really not working at all. And I've seen other patients 20 years down the line whose lymphatics are still suitable for reconstructive oh. options such as LVA. So it's really variable. Um, and I think the, the only way that we can 
tell whether someone's suitable for surgery or not is to do the ICG scan and look directly at the function of their lymphatics. Mm -hmm. oh, that's really interesting. Thank you.